Academic year kicked off a few weeks ago, but one school just held a special celebration to show its students that school doesn't have to be stressful. Yeah, new this morning, Becky Farr joins us live with more on the mission of the Dakota Memorial School on the Dakota Boys and Girls Ranch. Good morning, Becky. Tim and Alicia, the school encourages participation in the community, so they had about 60 Minot State athletes visit to interact and inspire the students to work towards their goals. And when they get back in the classroom this week, the staff focuses on supporting their students beyond academics. Here's how. We have the opportunity to get to know every single student. Principal Tina Degree said that's what makes school at the Dakota Boys and Girls Ranch different from the rest. Dakota Memorial School works with surrounding districts so that it can identify and provide students with additional levels of safety, support, and education. By taking the research and by using the training that we have, we try to help the kids pause. Freshman Leland Ridenauer said taking that pause makes a big difference. The teacher's just pushing me, I guess, um, not really uh, pressuring me, just kind of helping me. All staff at Dakota Memorial specialize in IEP, individualized education plans. A student that might have oppositional defiant disorder, we might look at that differently than someone that has ADHD and how can we provide the supports that are individualized for each student. So um, that it takes time, um, but it's our goal and it's our job. These two eighth graders said their goal is to get as many good grades as they possibly can and that it's thanks to their time at the ranch that they're able to do that. I would throw up because I got bullied so much. That was at CJ's old school, but he said that's not the case anymore. I feel like I would be able to succeed more if I go here. If I get stressed out, they have sensory breaks and you can just go into a different room, get candy and for, stand there for 10 minutes. With about 60 students at the school, the teacher to student ratio is less than two to one. Because the kids deserve our 100% attention when they're here. That attention plays a big part. This place lets me reign free with my intelligence. Decrees head that things like having MSU students visit, taking breaks, and if they're needed throughout the day, having uh, those sensory breaks, like I said, and having the resources available throughout the school day all contribute to the success of these students. Tim and Alicia? Yeah, it yeah. Seems, uh, seems like they're doing great work over there, and yes. I love that small student-teacher ratio. I've seen yeah. lots of story, good stories come out of there. Thank Thanks, you Becky. very much, Becky. Well,